<laughs> no, that I was think it, perfect. It got cut off. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> did, no. <laughs> if it did, with luck. No, we're not cut off, bro. <laughs> no, I think it cut off the oh. uh, the beginning. Oh, that was oh great. I hope so. <laughs> That's funny. It's yeah. fine. It's it's fine. I'll it's, live with uh, it. We were speaking uh, candidly, is what happened, and then one hundred percent. Then Aaron just started streaming the stream, and I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> whoops." Let's see, where is it at? Oh man, man! Now I got to go back and start the video from the beginning just to see how much of it made it. Let's see. Got to prepare for the blowback here. Hang on here. Uh, to okay, I can't even pop it out. Popping out live. Are you banned? We're, we're some, about to be banned twice. We're having some technical difficulties. Are we? <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Let's see if I can uh let's see if I can do this again. All right, it's going to another window. There's the chat. There we go. I see the chat now. Where's Mr. Chan Man? I need yeah, to no, to I him. just played the stream. We we totally started off with motherfucking. Did it? Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there was even a the unedited a version. In there. there was a, there was a cock in there and everything, man. Like this is this is about to get lit when the internet figures out what just happened. No. Nah. You see Jeff's yeah. comment? Unedited version. <laughs> oh man. We started out strong today. Yeah, you're you're gonna have to go yeah. back in there and just like cut that off and we're done. Your man. beef it's... is strong. <laughs> oh man. Fellas, uh bubblies to you. Uh hey Vince, what is up, bro? Um uh, we're gonna talk jam synthetics. We're gonna be talking uh AMS oil. We we um uh we're all running it, we have it in our, our catalog, our our archives here at the shops and um you know it's something that we've we're really liking ds has had a choice or a chance rather to run uh, the hot shot secrets um and uh has experience with the pao and then uh we're all we're all running uh 540 or 1030 and uh beard vortex got a whole bunch of ambulances we're not running 5w dumbass AKA 530. Yeah. Yeah. Not even, not even the F-150s or the Land Rovers. 15W40 from Mr. Ray. And uh, the gentleman from last week, um, I believe he, I got, a, 540. he got a quote for what? What was it? 12K? 13K? Uh, it was like 16, 15, 16,000. And they wanted to give him a slight discount. Slight discount. On labor, so what up, it's BC still electric, still way up there. Five W dumbass. Yep, happy horsepower. We, we, we got it. It's funny. Ray came out with that video the day after LR Time did their teardown on their second gen. Really, and they were and they were throwing links back and forth at both videos. It was kind of funny. Oh, in the in the forum. <laughs> In the comments <laughs> of the videos. Nice. Five dollars sixty-eight cents. Fucking criminy. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh what what are you guys what's your flavor right now? What all are you running and where are you getting it? Are you finding AMS oil in the store? Are you going through a deal? Are you going through one of us? Uh, each of us have a, uh, a link to each of our dealer networks where uh, we can all purchase uh, said products. And if you did not know, they also have uh, lubricant for the arms of fire. And uh works well. No, it yeah, works both well. The, both of those uh, metal protectors. HC zero forty. Yep. The zero mud slingers. forty with red tack. Great Ooh. for freedom sticks. Ooh. There's a helicopter on top of my house. 
Which one is it? Let me pull uh, up the phone. I don't know, he's low, about four hundred feet. Pretty loud. Mobile one. See, see who it is, Cliff, on the internet. I bet it's going to tell you that it's a Cessna Citation at thirty-two thousand feet. Shows an airplane. <laughs> it shows a. Uh, it's a Bonza, a Beach S thirty-five. Really? Seriously? Yeah, that's okay. That's just not a helicopter at all. What uh, altitude Navajo. does the app say it is? Uh, five thousand three hundred seventy-five feet. Or, traveling or, or four hundred. Yeah, or it's a Black Hawk at four hundred feet with no lights on. Running, running with uh, infrared or night vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't say. Hey, that. Cliff, that's twice that we outed the Fed flying Black Hawks around with the wrong transponders turned on on the internet two times. Sneaky, sneaky. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Do you 000. feel that that Amazoil could be in that helicopter? Mm, I mean, I don't know. There because could isn't be that a military a dude, like an aviation guy that started Amsoil? I don't know if no. the military puts Amsoil in their helicopters or not. Probably no, they don't. Not. My brother was an Apache mechanic. I mean, that's um, definitely way over military spec. Hmm. Um, military spec no, or military grade? He was... Should... Al, Al Amacuzio was his name. Brandon Powerster says he's been running the Hotshot Secret Green Diamond. Ooh. D I A M O N D. You see, you Docs feel... Diesel is selling Hotshots with their name on it. Who is? Docs Diesel. Oh. I did not know oh, that. Oh, they're, re they're rebranding it? Yeah. No kidding. I didn't know you could do that. Kidding. Well, I mean, when you have a company that sells. Chinese knockoff filters. What do you expect? Uh, do you feel that Amsoil makes a top tier product in every line that they sell, whether it's grease or whatever? Amsoil is a reputation based company, like all companies. And yeah. I don't think that they would stake their reputation on selling a subpar tube of grease. None of their First, stuff is subpar. Yeah, none of it. Yeah, yeah. I've I've yet to encounter a product that I thought was subpar in any way. And I run it in everything: rear end fluid, coolant, brake fluid, transmission fluid, oil, they uh, grease, oil, cool. brake fluid. I can't yeah. say I've used that. The yeah, one yeah, thing that awesome. I will say too about Amsoil is it is it is quite convenient to not have to leave, go to a store, you go online, and they take care of the shipping fast hey you get it in about two or three days mm -hmm. how like are you the... getting versus uh the old-fashioned you get in the courts or you get in the bags me Go get the is it bags all the time oh. for what if you're getting like diff fluid or trans fluid or uh diff fluid i it really depends uh my diff fluid that i use in my truck was the bags <laughs> the transmission fluid i uh, i'll get in the courts or the drum it just really oh the depends. drum oh snap. Yeah. oh dude come on now <laughs> uh oil I get by the drum uh for my oh, gas or vehicles I order like four to six cases at a time so how are you dispensing the trans fluid out of the drum are you got an actual pumper you got a pneumatic setup or what yeah I got a pneumatic setup just like a you know like at the dealer when you got the pneumatic pump yeah yeah I had that on each one of my drums and it can count how many quarts it's flowing or whatever mm hmm. No kidding. Jim okay. said he was blind until he rubbed Amsoil grease in his eyes. Wow. <laughs> the brake yes, cleaner it, is it on It will point. cure blindness. It's so good. It oh, will yeah? cure your blindness. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I've been getting CRC. Maybe I need to switch over to Amsoil brake cleaner. Uh, the Amsoil brake cleaner, no joke. Stinks. The stinkier, the better. That's the oh, rule. Oh, my it? gosh. The more flammable, the better. Flammable is good. I, I got the dental. Like I just wanted to kill a wasp. <laughs> I'm sure it'll kill a wasp. Yep. Whether it's on fire or not is irrelevant. Slaughter them. What brand should I run in my front and rear diff? Uh, we've been running uh, the bagged Amsoil uh, 75140. Uh, and then make sure to get the uh, fr uh, friction modifier uh, additive if you don't have the... Um, 
if you have the limited slip, if you have the electronic locking diff, then your truck truck won't take it. DS showers in royal purple. He might. He might. What type of joke was that that, that guy said to me? It just mean, says DS showers in royal purple. Why royal purple? Why DS? I don't know. I What's up, Mr. Dave? What do you think that's all about? I don't know. Zeke's here. I've never, Zeke's I've here. never, I've never purchased Royal Purple oil ever. I have never used it either. I've, purple, I've, really. I've used it for diffs, and that's it. Really? Yeah. I and only only because the store was out of what I normally buy, and I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's just expensive. And purple. And purple. Well, that part's kind of cool, but you can't see it. When, once it's in, so it's kind yeah, of that's true. It doesn't matter what color it is. I can confirm the trans fluid is not purple. It's still red. That's that's fair. Speaking of not... seam fluid, have you seen like the Honda Civics where they've been doing like clear pipes for like their radiator pipes and stuff like that? Yeah, that's been I've like that. ten years, twenty years maybe. They do uh they do clear distributor caps where if you and and rotors where if you uh turn the lights off you can see the ignition the spark inside the distributor cap oh that's cool yeah they're terrible but they're people like them because they're i mean it's kind of cool brand how long used... how long does one of those things remain transparent uh probably a year and then it turns yellow okay and then if it's you colored. look at it wrong it shatters <laughs> So that's a no. That's a, it's a no. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty hard no. <laughs> it's it. a no, yeah. If you like never those... put it up to operating temperature or park it in the sun, I think you'd be all right. <laughs> I feel like most of those are show cars and they don't drive them but off a trailer to the spot and then back on the trailer. Yeah, I'm talking, about, talking about ricers. Yeah. Whoa, that's the most racist thing I've ever Wow. <laughs> Whoa, racist? <laughs> <laughs> oh man but DS can't be racist uh, oh I've seen hats that say that <laughs> oh see what I did there yeah. <laughs> where is that freaking I got nothing to say back to you guys Has you ever heard that song I got nothing yeah he's got nothing I got nothing That Darius Rucker song. Oh my god. Aaron, did you call Chan Man today? I did not. I'm really thinking that was him that I was talking to today. With the G at the end though? I'm pretty sure it's Chan Man. Like who else is from Canada with that name? He does uh in work Toronto. On Trying to find this freaking information. Catalog. No. What are you trying to find? My freaking number. Oh. I don't know how to find it. Did you log in? Yeah. Um. It's on your... Log into your home page and then go to, um, yeah, just log in. Like, close your window and log back in. And as soon as it brings up your ho home page, it'll show you your, your dealer number, like right there. I see you haven't put your picture up there yet. No. Should be on your dashboard, Aaron. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to navigate to that. Are you on the cart or if, what page are you on? Um, oh, wait, hold on. Let me go back. I think I just had it. Go to the right side and click yep, and then I've, go I've back to it. switch to dealer. I found it. All right. I do cars. Are you on the Amsoil bandwagon or no? Uh, Amsoil? No. I, I'm not, I don't have anything that, against it. Uh, I've used it in the past. I've had no bad experiences, but the effort it takes to get it versus what I normally get plus the cost. I, I don't buy it. So what do you get? Well, uh, it depends on... I So uh, almost all of my BMWs 
take Rotella, except for my late model, later model uh, BMWs, those use uh, Liqui Moly. Same with all my other European cars. Uh, oh, the okay. the Lotuses take Liqui Moly. Uh, my Chevy trucks, my GM trucks will run on anything other than water. They don't care. <laughs> Uh, I literally buy the cheapest synthetic 530 that I can buy, which is usually actually Napa sells <laughs> it's actually Molly. Oil, Molly. Uh, synthetic 530. And I, and when they run it on sale, it's like 375 a quart. And that's for the GM trucks or American trucks. Yeah, that's oh, for my no. like, I have a uh, 5.3 Tahoe. I have the 5.3 in the Land Cruiser. I have the six liter, my three quarter ton. They They literally don't care. Like I change the oil because I feel bad, but they don't care. Mm, that I'm makes sorry. sense, you know. That it's the most cost effective. It's still synthetic. I'm gonna and, say the forbidden uh, word in here. Somebody's running Mobile One. I don't a run couple, Mobile One. I, a couple people one is like rubbing. Monster Energy drinks. They are fantastic at marketing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I was a big Mobile One guy back in the day, like back in I, I don't know. Well, 2000. I. 12, so I, I I or I used to run a mobile one as well, and then I uh, so my Turbo MX6 I ran mobile one 1030, and then I switched to 1540 Rotella, and oh my god, the engine was so much happier. And then I did the same experience with my my V8 BMWs, my uh, naturally aspirated six cylinder BMWs. Switched to Rotella, and the engines just love it so much. Rotella is a real good oil. I love you it. hear a lot of good stuff about it, liquid it, molly it, is okay. A lot of MotoGP riders and motorcycle riders use that. Um, they actually use it in MotoGP races. Um, it's more for European stuff, though. Yeah. With with these European vehicles, what is the difference with the emissions or whatever's going on? Where they have like their own oil spec? No, I mean because. Uh... Typically, European cars, the emissions on European cars are global. So that like they'll make like low emissions and then the regular emissions versions. And that's not even of every single model. It's just on some. Uh, well, they say mid sap or something on it. Mid sap or low sap. What am I referring to here on the European oils? Uh, you know, oh, you mid ash. You in your F mid ash. Your 7.3. Yeah, I did. Well, I wanted to uh, find something that can uh, increase the oil weight to to five W forty. That was for gas engines, and they and and they have it for a European. Run the five forty. Uh, what is it? It's the A A three B B four A three B three. That's what well, it says the, the one that I got says gas or diesel, and it says something about mid saps or something like that. Can't remember. Mobile exactly. One is not what it used to be. No, they are actually made to the lowest standard right now to pass for the API certification. To, to be fair, though, the label looks the same. Oh yeah, I used to really, I, I used to really run that extended performance Mobile One though. See, I have a huge problem with mobile one and it started when they started advertising uh twenty thousand mile oil and they started saying oh yeah, you can right. you know this is twenty thousand mile oil and then you know like they don't specify for vehicles that are okay with that because you start doing that stuff on a 15 year old toyota camry that burns oil and dilutes the fuel <laughs> you're gonna have problems right that's when you that's when you just go oe style instead of xl or anything like that King Ranch is asking, do you do OEM mid-grade or signature? I'm looking. It's like, if you uh, I'm a signature guy myself. It depends. So XL works better in my truck. Why? What do you put in the ambulances? Know. The Max Duty Signature Series. Hmm. So when you say XL works better, what are you referring to? Just the additive package in it, the way it's working inside my engine. That's what my oil analysis shows that it's working better. Oh. oh, so it's it running when you say working better, like at the interval or less metal or what? I don't have anywhere metal for either for either oils, right? Oh. Yeah, no, no where. It seems like the signature series in my truck breaks down quicker, but the XL is just right on par. 
There's mm. no wear metals in there. I don't have water in it. I don't have fuel dilution. But the additive package between the two, it seems like the XL works longer. Interesting. And it's cheaper. A uh, little bit, a little bit cheaper. But I can't speak for everybody. Nobody drives like I do. I, you know what I mean? The only way to tell, Signature Series may work better for somebody. OE may work better. The only way to tell is if they get their oil tested. Well, we've seen like Project Farms. He did like this, the whole oil testing with the Signature Series and it came out on top. It would be interesting to see the Signature Series. No, I mean like, you no, know, I mean like an actual test, like a used oil analysis. He did a great video. Don't get me wrong. He's got awesome videos. But, but there's I mean, no way like, to really compare that to a real an actual interval. oil analysis test. Yeah. Pusher. 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 When we talking about band. Well, speaking of where you get your oil, where do you get your oil? You go to the store? You order it online? Or you go to the dealer? So FCP Euro has lifetime warranty on everything they sell, including oil. So as long as you buy the first oil change at FCP and then you buy the second one, the same exact oil change, you can send the first one back for a credit, which is part yeah. of the reason that I buy my oil, my European oil there, because I only really have to pay for oil one time and then I just roll it over every time. I bought all my fluids from Rock Auto for the Land Rover. Yeah, it, it sometimes <laughs> deals on like closeout on oils. I bought uh three cases of five thirty Rotella, uh, like gas truck oil, for like a dollar seventy nine a quart. <laughs> and I I like checked feverishly like every day like is there more is there more and there was never more. <laughs> well, I was gonna get. I was going to get the trans fluid for the Land Rover from that site you're talking about, but then I got on Rock Auto and the ZF8 stuff was considerably cheaper on there. It just depends. Sometimes stuff is cheaper on Rock Auto. Uh, I also have a commercial account on SCP, and depending on what you're buying, stuff that you're not going to warranty uh, because a commercial account gives you a discount, but you don't have the same lifetime warranty, um, you know, that's that's where you, you that's where you can save some money. It just depends on what you're doing. How good is dealer bulk? I don't know. I uh, I was told I can't go buy parts anymore. Wait, at what? The dealer. Yeah. <laughs> you were banned? I was banned. What did you do? Walked in to buy parts and then was asked to never come back to buy parts. Why did the, the, did you ever talk any kind of bad about, ill about them? Nope. Just in his goodbye video. Just facts. And the actions speak louder than words. So that you made a video about this, right? Yes. Uh when uh about you know, not, at not the end of able... last year. Well, you you never made a video about not being able to go back? Uh, no, no we're was, doing that now. That was today. <laughs> oh, okay. That was that, so, that was today. So, yeah, so yeah, you need to make a video about about not about being banned. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was quite quite the uh um quite the ordeal i bet today. they'll i bet they'll sell you a car i you know i i, I find it rather distasteful I, i'd like to say this i i find it rather distasteful that a large company such as a local dealership would stifle the efforts of a former employee who has set out on his own by prohibiting him from purchasing factory quality parts from their establishment Thus, attempting to Walmart him out of business. It's sounds not a good like, look. So, sounds like that's a problem. So not send somebody look. else I'm, in there. Saying, not, send somebody else to like get the parts. You need a part runner. Here, here's here's my take on this whole situation because I used to work at a dealership and then I got fired and I still have a great relationship with that dealership 20 some odd years later. Uh, as a dealership, as a business, you have, especially now with the way things are, you cannot do anything that is possibly construed as going to be taken in a bad light. So even if 
you told them, you know, you gave them the big middle finger, you tried to burn the place down, whatever. Uh, for them to not allow you there is like giving you the golden ammo for content, which they 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 don't they don't want they don't want that like they they don't they the last the last thing they want they think that it's not going to happen but when it happens and then it blows up then they're going to be like oh backpedal 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 the, the fact of the matter is when i made the video about when i left everything was stated factual there was no slander I wasn't fussing. I wasn't speaking about the entity in a bad light. There's a video on it. Go watch it. So they're still watching. Yeah, that's, and that's the sad part. <laughs> they're <laughs> still watch. They're <laughs> still butthurt. And well, what what butt hurts them the most is all the customers that was coming for you are now. Saying see ya and yeah. coming to leadership, you. <laughs> leadership should have taken that into consideration when they were evaluating Aaron's performance and value that he brought to the establishment. It's certainly not the same clients. So I mean those clients are still going there. And then like it's a different set of clients that are going to see Aaron. To be mm -hmm. well, they're, to, they're getting some, tanks installed. They're getting the S and B tanks. They're there, getting the freaking. There's probably DCR. Some overlap, they're not there, doing that stuff at the dealer. Well, there, there's. I would bet that there is some overlap, but not enough for them to go. Oh man, we shouldn't have. You know, we should have fought to keep him here. Uh, they're not. Um, uh, maybe but, one client or two, but I doubt it. I mean, who? Well, Aaron's not doing that kind of uh warranty work and all let's that. Uh, let's get something straight uh we we weren't fired you you might you might want to go watch that video again there mr matt one yeah. thing to consider though when you're considering the the client back and forth situation it's very simple uh aaron has taken zero of their clients and customers yet when he was employed there they got the advantage of all of aaron's customers and clients yeah you see, it was a very one-sided street. Mm -hmm. Shoes on the well, different well, foot now. Well, let me, let me ask you this, though. Have you actually gone out of your way to take a client? Have you ever sent any communication to anybody saying, don't go there, come here? I doubt you ever would do that. Yeah. There are emails, Sean, that I don't have time to get to because I don't have time. I don't have the time to go poach people when I have an audience that fulfills that for me already. Okay. So you're not poaching clients or taking clients or competing Although, directly, you know. They're competing with Joe Schmo right down the street. They're competing yeah, the with all the other is, small businesses in the in southeastern Michigan. They're just they're just sour that that you literally explained what was going on and why you left. And exactly. and even, even even if it shined them, even if it painted them in a perfect light. The fact that they lost you makes them mad. Yeah, whatever. That's, that's well. It's a weird situation because, like, they're lost. There was there was freaking parties and stuff there. Like, well, there, well at least one party, which we should have did more of, but whatever. But there was like, a, what was the meet and greet, which mm -hmm. would be cool to do. We need to set something like that up, but like, it's not like they were completely unaware of you know the situation with the channel. They did support the meet and greet. They did have it, the social media. That, that doesn't even matter. The fact that I came as an outside entity, a person off the street, just another loser out in the world, coming to spend money to buy parts, and you're denying me. Well, the question is, business. Who, where did that come? Where did that order come from? In internally internally from the director of the department of services well I, I honestly i don't even remember the story like what were the circumstances it's not you can watch the video left. we're not talking about the whole circumstances I, so again I, I, today I, we bought parts i have a i have a question for you is there are there's got to be another ford dealer relatively local 
right? Oh, most definitely. But I needed this stuff now. And unfortunately, they were the only freaking lads around that had it. I wasn't going to drive that's, 30 miles out of my way just to go. That get is this a problem was, because it is a problem. Sometimes, sometimes you go into the dealer and they're like, oh, it's over there. Go hey, there. Now I'm going to have to wear a disguise. I'm going to have to dress up as a, as a Taekwondo instructor and walk <laughs> in with my yellow belt. Hey, but just, I, I need to get, just get DS to go in there and do it for you. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to know me though. They're going to be like, but Wait, couldn't you just take gonna... that? Couldn't you just take this to Ford Motor Company because they are a representative of of they're selling the parts for Ford Motor Company. Yeah, like there's no other way you can't yeah, just call the manufacturer service to anybody. They can. They don't. Yeah, they, they, they don't they, have they, to work on vehicles over than ten yeah, years. We we literally as it doesn't like even my business as small as it is or big businesses have the right, right to deny services to anybody we want. It's just yes. how it is. And it's a good thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good thing because... Yeah, but that don't mean you can't complain. I mean, oh, Ford. you can complain, but... It, you got it, a right to complain to Ford, if, and Ford's got a right to... If enough people write do you Ford think Ford's themselves... Gonna care? Hell no. I, I would like to point out, though, that if one were to deliberately take action to cost another person or company money then that's an actionable offense with a monetized claim against it, meaning that's what lawsuits are about. It, uh, it's it's actually really it's really bad to do that because I, it opens up the door. I, I Maybe just, you I, do need to send me in there and have them deny me. I think you need to I think you need to uh what, have what me I, pull what, that old card out. See personally what I would do is I would uh hit up the other four dealer in town or where, wherever that you can get parts from now. And say, hey, look, here's the situation. I want to buy parts from you. I want to talk good stuff about you on my channel. I want to rep you on my channel. Uh, I'm going to send all these customers your way for the stuff that I don't want to do. I'm going to send you all these customers for parts, yada, yada. And then make it very apparent. Be like, well, since I can't buy parts at the other place, this is the place that I would recommend. And just make them regret that decision without naming them because then they have no actual case. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go, man, we could have done something good with this, but instead we were jerks. Well, like we were talking about earlier, their their unprofessional way of taking this personal endeavor out. Oh yeah. Is... There's, no, there's no emotion in business, and there and this is what happens when there is. Yep. Oh. Don't put your foot in foot where your mouth is. I literally like there are very few people that I will not take care of. You know, like there's I have some bad customers some do not sell customers because they've bit me before. But everybody's money is green. As long as it's actually green, I don't care. Yep. What if it's a faded green? Faded. What up, Joe Wolf? What are you guys' thoughts on new power strokes? Ugh. I went back to diesel 24 power wagon because of the new mission issues. I had 22 Cummins. I would not get these new ones, man. I'm just not hearing good things about them. I mean, if you like you putting DEF in your truck, buy one. Just backspace them. It's, uh, uh, I, I don't quality. Quality, all I hear is complaints about this doesn't fit right and uh, sensors not being plugged in, not even screwed into the exhaust. Went back to a gasser. Oof. Oof. And the new part, I went back. Oh, I see what you meant. Mm. Gasser, I don't know. Mm. Seven threes, cams. Mm. I don't know. I'm scared. Uh, I don't know. One of my guys has has a seven three, and I think he just hit ninety k on his. And it's wow, been, it's been perfect. I know that's not a lot of miles, but wow. From your you tear down engines. 
What do you like better, the 6.2 gas or the 7.3 gas? Uh, I like them both. Uh, I haven't torn down a 7.3, so it's really hard for me to to answer that question, but I love 6.2. You've tore down an LS. Yeah, that's not the same thing. But, the, but they're a little different, though. Like, the 7.3 is like, just it's, it's a bigger... Listen, just because it's got yeah, push rods. It's not the same, no. It's not saying, the same. Saying a vehicle hit 90K is like, the vehicles I had in the 90s, they're hitting like, five six hundred k on a gasser I and you're going know, but, oh wow but, 90k but <laughs> it's you, like i i i know but it's still new it's still it's so new that's that a lot I, of miles for a 73 yeah. because the 73 ain't been out that long yeah but uh do you think uh, that that 73 just based on how it's built you know designed and everything push rods lifters will that yeah. engine run more miles than a 6.2 it's really hard to say because you got to realize there's a lot less wear because there's less parts. And when there's less wear, there's less metal in the oil, which wipes out the other more critical parts. So from looking at it like that, yeah, it should. But if it has inherent design flaws, like using lifters that are like insignificantly sized or, you know, not, not sized or respect or, or built correctly. I mean, that, hypothetically, if, or is that the case? It's hypothetical because I haven't seen one in person. I, 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 I've seen videos of them failed. I've seen pictures of them failed. But that doesn't mean that every single one's going to fail. We don't know the ex ex the situation around the ones that have failed. Have they been idled in in uh, ambulances or in in trucks or police vehicles or forestry vehicles for hours every single day? Have they gone 15, 20,000 miles on oil changes? You know, what's their driving characteristics? We don't know these all of the 7.3 gasser failures that I saw were in box trucks. Yeah. So that's usually lots of idle time and lots of weight. Okay. How many 6.2 box truck failures were you seeing? I didn't put really 6.2s in a lot of box trucks. Yeah. They didn't that's... put them in there? Because they, what, they were V10s? Most yeah, of them yeah, were V10s. V10s. And I mean, how, were, how were the V10 failures? Were they as high as the 7.3s? Mm. I think they're worse. That has a lot of splash for the upper end. And what people wound up doing is not change the oil on the V10. And they started dropping the roller rockers and then dropping valves. And then, oh, this Ford's got me the shit. Well, the thing takes seven quarts of oil. And now you went 7,000 miles on the oil change. Now that seven is now five quarts of oil and has no splash getting upstairs, if any. Yeah. And well, well one didn't thing they didn't do was then. one thing they didn't do was check their oil level. So, yeah. <laughs> well, the Pretty seven three is going to be pressurized, so it's going to be superior. I mean, we don't know if it's going to be superior or not. I can tell you that the every six two I've ever had the chance to work on, I know that some of the early ones had valve spring related problems. That seems that seems like such a solid engine to me. Like, yeah. I'm really sad that that wasn't offered in larger duty vehicles. That was the first three My months. thought process on the 7.3 is when they came out with it being push rod, it made the package smaller. Yep. And it made the package cheaper. And they're easier to work on. They're a little bit easier to work on because you get your hands in there better. But, but you're scraping the cylinder walls, man. Ooh. Yeah. The 6.2, aside from those couple things, the 6.2 was a engine that will last longer than the yeah. 7.3. Just from the valve train point of view. I mean, I don't think it's going to last longer. I, I think we're going to, it's going to be, it, it's one of those things where, okay, how long has the 6.2 been out? Since 2010? And yeah. how how long has the, the 7.3 been out? Since 2020? 2020. Yeah. So really? There's, yeah. There's, there's 10 years difference. So all of this, I'm not going to say all, but we're seeing failures on 6.2s when they're 14 years old now. We don't know well, what 7.3s are going to be like at 14 years old. Well, you have also the uh, the 6.2 has a dual spark plug and it has like a coil on each on 16 plugs, right? Yeah. Got eight coils. Whereas the 7.3, the 6.2 has only eight coils? Yeah. Oh, so the 7.3 has eight spark it's eight, plugs. It's eight coils, but it has a wire that comes off the coil and goes to the bottom plug. It has 16 it, plugs. It's wasted. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. 
It, it okay. sparks on the exhaust stroke like the like the Hemi does. Like like the uh, also like remember like those old eight eight plug twin Edis two threes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gosh, that's Hopefully, a long time. Not a seven three. Is that ignition system on a seven three gonna hold up as long as it did on a six two? Are you gonna well, they had a whole sword? bunch of problems with those spark plug wires. Yeah. When the things first came out, they were just eating plug wires. They would crack against the order. fuel rail. <laughs> you ever seen those on the six twos? Mm. The what? Where it plugs into the coil and goes to the bottom plug, it would arc against the fuel rail. Huh. That's really good. Oh, that's a great place for that. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I've actually so I have a uh I have a five four three valve work truck. It's an 08, and the truck's great. The engine is not great. And I, I'm actually, I've looked into what it takes to put a 6.2 in it. It's not hard, and I'm probably going to go that route in that truck. Since it doesn't, it's a one ton, it doesn't need emissions. And I can buy a, a 6.2, you know, like 150,000 miles, 6.2, 11 to, what the early ones, what, 11 to 15 or something, 11 to 16. I can buy an early one with a two-wheel drive trans, out uh, like I buy a whole one of those trucks at the auction for like twenty eight hundred dollars, three grand, and then I part the rest of the truck out, take the drivetrain, put it in mine, and then it's it bolts in. How much crossing can you do? You think you like how far down the line switching out Ford engines? Because a six two was in a was in an F one fifty as well. Yep, it was in. I mean, could you put a five five liter in there? Could you put a three five equal? I mean, they're all in the same. In in, in, the, in the what? I don't know. I mean. In what, the, well, the that, Dell that, housings or what? I mean, they... I, I I can tell you. So like with the with the six cylinders, the cyclone, like the EcoBoost, the cyclone, the EcoBoost, the three five, three seven, uh, all of those share the same bell housing. So I've seen people that did a three five EcoBoost in Mustangs. Yeah, right? that's what I was gonna say. I'd love to see that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cool if the engine sounded better. It would be awesome, but. Um, I mean, that's just a lot of work. There's, there's, there's always going to be that guy that can figure it out and make it work. You know, you got to think about, too, from a, a design and, and uh, a building uh, perspective. The more things they change between models, the more expensive it is for them. True. So when they when they have to redesign, that's why, you know, a lot of people put five liter, do five liter swaps in SN95s and new edge Mustangs because the bell housing's the same. Like it's it's such an easy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that back in the day. Like if you, the more similarities you have, the more it's more efficient for them. But then you could play it with it later. Yeah, I mean, think think the yes, Mustang from seventy nine all the way up to 04, They use seventy percent of the same unibody. Yeah, the the Dude. floor they have the same torque boxes. This every all that stuff's the same, which makes that- doing suspension. Like I have a buddy of mine that's into Fox bodies. And you can buy like 800 different types of suspension for it, which is amazing. And then like the Granada and all the all the other, the Fairmont and all the other, you know, Thunderbird, all the other same basic vehicles, it all applies. We dropped the S550 uh, 5.0 into a 94 Fox body. You can, you can literally take the S95 subframe and put it into yeah. a Fox body. Yeah. yeah. And the engine, the... Mod motors are bolted. Yep. At that point. Yep. So when we did that uh, S550 into that 94 Fox body, we had to get a body control module with a key so it would actually recognize, so it would crank. Yeah. But I mean, working for the dealer, well, just going did, through Rotunda. So did didn't uh, didn't they they used to make? I don't know. They still make the power packs where you could buy the harness and computer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do they still make that. Yep. For the five liters. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> You know, that's the thing is that, you know, I, I'm not the biggest Ford fan out there, but I'm not a big fan of pretty much anybody anymore. Mm-hmm. But Ford <laughs> really was like, Ford was literally like, hey, we'll we'll make this easy for you guys that want to mod and build your vehicles. And no other manufacturers done anything like that. All the other manufacturers are like, how can we punish our customers? And Ford's like, here, we'll do this one for you. They've even got power pack said- for the 73, the uh, seven threes. Wow. Yeah. With the 10R140 and manual transmission. Yeah. Of course. It's like trying to buy stuff for a charger, man. It's like, it's almost impossible to get Mopar stuff because Mopar doesn't want you to put stuff on it. You know what I mean? Like you said, Eric. And yeah. then Ford's like, here, you want to make it faster? Go ahead. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Already. Yeah, we'll sell you that. Oh, you want you want a boss intake manifold? Okay, you can we can buy that over the counter. You want a okay. you want a fifteen and up turbocharger set up for your six seven? We'll sell you the whole kit. Yeah, I got one on the shelf. <laughs> Zero W eight. What are you talking about? Yeah, the new Toyotas are zero eight. No, yeah, they're running zero no, eight. Your, your, no. your buddy, your buddy, uh, uh, Lake just did a video on one. Yeah, he oh, was actually disgusting. in the live stream talking about it last week. That's yeah. right. Water, gold water, gold oh, water. thicker. Yeah, zero I, I, eight. That means you should run five twenty, and you're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the zero part isn't the problem. It's the Part eight. That. Yeah. It's the eight that's a problem. Do you guys know who uh what's her name? Um she's a chick. Um that's the script. Um, <laughs> Masaki. Really, really, really narrowed that one. Um, <laughs> I can't think of her name. She's uh she's on TikTok and YouTube. Hartford. Hartford? Amelia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she yeah. just got a R34, a yeah. 98. She just got it. Uh, sent out from Japan. I was watching her little video to have, you know, to have this over in the states. Like that would have been, you know, a, a cool, sure, cool. Uh, I'll have a right hand drive. It was fucking blue. It was. I bet the value of those things just went through the roof. No, uh, they the thing is is that everybody knows how the import laws work. My brother has imported three cars now and he has bought them over a year in advance because if you do that, it's cheaper to store them over there than to wait till you can just bring them over. Uh, I mean Amelia, yeah. I need to go grab a couple of those Rangers and Everests then. So when time's up, I have them. Yeah, thirty years later. <laughs> twenty five. Is that is that the cutoff? It was twenty five. Twenty five years. Yeah. Can we <laughs> import cars for resale? Yeah, you can do that. There's whole businesses if, do that. We should just focus on Toyota Hilux. Um, the problem with that is that <laughs> the, the demand for those vehicles in other parts of the world makes that very not um, lucrative. Oh. Oh, think it's about, a good vehicle. Think think about every time you see a video over in the Middle East, what is driving in the background? It's the Hilux with, with a Toyota. Yeah. It's always that. So do you think you have more money than them? Because I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I don't know they taxed it all and gave it to them. I don't have any money left. <laughs> yes, so that. Yeah. Hey Ray, Ooh. do you see that you see that comment? Which one? Ams oil, more like sham oil. That's uh, fine. Yeah, He's talking about that, uh, that, uh, what did Nikki call it? Uh, lizard lotion. Yeah, that lizard. lizard. Yeah, yeah they, they, <laughs> the, 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 uh, what was it? Snake oil. We've, we've evolved the term snake oil into lizard lotion. Lizard lotion. Yeah. <laughs> I use zero W8 to wash parts. That's <laughs> cool. nice. I bet that's good toolbox polish. Uh, <laughs> somebody said anything over zero eight is a DUI. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty that's good. You know, I I know we all make fun of that that oil. Uh, the thing is, is that it's our choice as to what oil to run in stuff. So you know, they can make it. That doesn't mean we'll buy it. That's true. Well, I think Very we're true. empathizing with the masses that don't know any better. Mm -hmm. And there's yeah. that guy that's going to religiously run zero eight in his car, no matter what he's doing with it, and his engine's going to last eighty thousand miles. Hey, I even highlighted it in the owner's manual. That's oh, yeah, what it I'm, said. I, yeah. I liked the question. Do you remember the question I asked Lake last week? Where I, I said, is that oil more susceptible to degradation from fuel dilution on direct injected cars? And he said, yes. Yep. And, and guess what everything is today? Direct injected. Yep. And guess what the biggest problem with half of these oil burning cars is? Oil dilution. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Where did you go? For Who your are commercial you? company at the chicken coop. Why are you so mad? 
He's so mad. Quit being so mad. It's not. It's not fun. Who man? Who is it? The the guy with the lizard lotion guy. He's mad. Oh, uh, somebody chicken coop. It's fine though. Hop Whatever. with it, big booty house. Hop with it. What did I, What did I miss? Oh, there it is. Zero zero. Delete that comment immediately. If the EPA sees that, we're screwed. <laughs> I thought Take the W in zero W eight stood for water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I mean, maybe DS thought it stood for water. They're making oils thinner than water. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's so they can mix. What if you heard about the engine that just runs water for oil? No. I'm going to import a, a helix now. Isn't oh, there some yeah. kind of isn't there something right? What is it? Hydrogen they say is gonna take over gasoline engines? I thought it was going to take over EVs. It's going to take do that for EVs. sure. They've been coming up with reasons to take over gasoline engines since the 70s, and we still haven't figured that out yet. So Yeah, well, we were supposed to run out of oil in the 80s and 90s, and yeah. we still have plenty of it. Al Gore was wrong. Yeah. Um, he's sleeping. We're Everybody... running out of oil now. Have you seen the fuel prices? Holy Let's do We're not uh, running yeah. out. We're running out. It's because we turned off the faucet. What's yeah. the fuel prices where you guys are at? What do we got? Not a dollar eighty-five. Oh, what a dollar eighty-five! I said not a dollar eighty-five. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still stuck on a couple years ago. <laughs> what do we got, everybody? Give me a, a fuel check-in. I just got three ninety-eight for diesel. I got eleven cents off. Yeah, and I, I think, got thirty gallons. I think we filled up, and it was. 389 in our Land Rover. After <laughs> after the end of oil, we'll all be riding e scooters. <laughs> 399 Nashville, Burke, wow. 399 California. God, I suck. 366, 322. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, New York. Your name suits the price. Yep. Three fifty nine. Saint Pete. Oh, oh, you back, Saint Pete, huh? Four hundred. Four hundred. Four dollars. Four hundred one. Three hundred nine. Texas. Dang. That's cool. Ah, they're converting Five. it into liters. I can't keep up with the liters. Letras. Manitoba. Eh? Three nineteen. Um, okay, everybody is in the. Oh, I was just going to say, I didn't see anybody in the twos. Two so it's expensive, nine. huh? That's what we're saying here. It's fuel is still expensive. It's still pricey. 489 in Portland. Damn. Vote accordingly, please. <laughs> is the I fuel nine, more oh, money or is our money worth less? Therefore, we have to use more oh, of it to it, get fuel. It's, it's but, both. Dang, dude. That's... Yeah, it's both. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> both. Uh-huh. <laughs> Strategic oil reserve at lowest point in my life. How is how much is in there? <clears throat> Not enough, probably, I guess. Probably none. What's the best lizard lotion for rear ends? Ams oil is the correct uh, correct lube for your rear. It's got a nozzle on the end, so you don't Ooh. spill any on the outside when you squirt it in. Jergens. I like it. <laughs> Jergens. We got a whole bunch of uh dealer, um links at the top 17 days for strategic reserve Blah. do you guys know that if we deplete all of our strategic reserves we can bring gas down 10 cents a gallon for about two days <laughs> yeah i mean that's, isn't that what they did yeah a couple times that's why it's so low fake papers worthless barrow beach Can we put Lakes? zero eight in a in a six seven and see what happens? We can put zero it in eight a, we can in put a it Chinese in a five car. Nine that's missing a cylinder. Dun, 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 dun. Put it in that Chinese dun, 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 car. I don't yeah, want to blow MPG. up my Chinese car. No, no, I I, I want to keep the Chinese car. <laughs> you don't want to blow it up, up and you sit there all the way to the floorboard. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> 
Hey, let's go to yeah, the tailpipe. It's got a rev limiter for a reason. It's fine. <laughs> uh, we should cut the muffler off of that and do that again. <laughs> that was fun. Let's put a lift kit on it. Yeah. It needs oh, bigger God. tires only, for sure. Only in the front. It got stuck in my grass. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the Chinese car stuck on flat ground. It was pretty bad. But the, the rims are like what tens? Uh I think they're twelves. Oh they're man. like they're like one thirty five sixty five twelves or something. Some Maybe. ridiculous tire what, size. What's the bolt pattern? Uh four. By <laughs> four. four by by so, Chinese. I have no well, idea. I, I found out that my easy go golf cart has four by one hundred, and since then I have not put I, I only run Miata spare tires in the back. That's it. And it increased the diameter of the wheel by like 40%. So now it goes faster than it's supposed to go. Hmm. It's also a lot slower from a dead stop. And it might kill the axles and hubs every so often. It would definitely need a lift to fit bigger tires. Yeah. Well, I can just put some spacers on the struts. <laughs> they, they basically the suspension on this car is just a bunch of tube steel very horribly welded together <laughs> in like a box fashion with mcpherson struts on the front and the rear so i could just put a spacer in there that'll lift it right up yeah there you go just cut it out of wood yeah that would work it would probably be better and more structurally sound than the tube steel that they built it out of <laughs> yeah and it, it'll reduce vibrations like I'll, I'll dude i'll put it to you this way the to keep that car off the road and out of the hands of an unsuspecting victim is half the reason that I bought it. Because I knew somewhere, somehow, somebody else is going to get that car and they're going to try to drive it on the road. It's actually which... frightening to ride in. Yeah. I, I want to that... drive it so bad. I want to <laughs> see, like, it, 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 this is sounding like I'm, I, the more you talk about it, the more interested I am. My wife said never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, can you can is it like how fast does it go? Mm, we got it, up we like got it 96 up kilometers, right? Yeah, 96 kilometers. So what's that like 58? <laughs> wow, that is awesome. So you could really wreck it bad. Yeah, yeah, you could just die. Like we thought it was just <laughs> gonna fall apart at 40, 50 miles an hour. Like it is not fun. Does it start, does it start shaking? Like, does it make the... Everything. Does yeah, it, the whole thing shaking? just has its own shakes to it. Yeah. Uh, the switches on the dash are a lower quality switch than what is on my vacuum cleaner. That, that, that's that's fair. Yeah, but I get in after this and I'm thinking he's like sweat box. I get in AC's cranking ice cold. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't tell me this whole time you had AC going. <laughs> it was funny it sounds fun it is we fun. should take it like uh we should take it to um uh the, the racetrack cletus's racetrack and put it on the quarter mile and see how fast it runs the quarter in uh, <laughs> sounds... he just we just post that that's funny three hours uh, later yeah, king ranch just said it take to the freedom factory yeah, we'll take funny. it on test and tune on a thursday night and we're, we're <laughs> gonna run like a 25 second eighth mile then will it spin tires? Um, in the mud, but if you dump all... if you dump the clutch in the mud, it'll it'll spin a tire. Then it bogs down. <laughs> yeah, like it'll it'll break loose and then rev up and then it's just like as the car starts to go, it just bogs down horribly. I think, it's got... I think you need to test its towing capabilities with with some trailers. Um, no, it has a clutch and I don't want to burn it up because oh, it's that's probably right. about the size of a coffee can. <laughs> The problem Dude, when a... you take it off road is it pops out of gear too. Yeah. Let's put a sport bike engine in that thing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Or a Harley It'll engine. We would have to build an entire chassis for it in order to support any kind of horsepower. And it would probably need a roll cage because it would be stupid fast. <laughs> and no I mean, brakes. Realistically, it's a 25 horsepower engine at best, and I'm I'm giving it some credit there, like right now, <laughs> like uh, right now. So why yeah. don't you just spray it? Just get it. Just just get yourself a little Zex kit, 
Just spray it when you need that extra little bit of power. Oh my God. Well, I, I just don't, I just don't want to blow it up because it's fun to drive. Like, oh, oh, see, I thought you were going at this like, how can I torment this? The, the sad thing is, the side by side is faster than it. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sure it is. Oh, all day long, yeah, all I'm day. I'm sure it is. I don't know if I could make it electric, Tom. It couldn't hold the weight of a battery. Hmm. <laughs> uh. All right, fellas. We can cut it off. Um, it's time to start the after party. Appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys for hanging. We're going to enjoy some Mexi Cokes and Mexi Sprites. Make sure to check out the merch store, Beater Fortech, wearing the PTT. And uh, where you can't see his shirt. Oh, I got, but, I got uh, that one. Everything's a hammer. Everything is a hammer. Even my torches. <laughs> <laughs> Blue tip wrench. While uh, we let Cliff uh, indulge on his uh, sandy beach coast, uh, Eric, I do car guys, and CP's garage. DS is sleeping. We'll see you guys later. Peace.